I've played all through five like, of, the, of the Freddy Fish games at this point. But there's still a couple like, uh, you know, adventure packs that basically Freddy Fish and Luther basically have for their games. Much like, you know, very similar to like, you know, Potato Sam's like, you know, games to play around and stuff like that, Lost and Found Socks works. Pup Putt's basically Fatty Bear's activity pack, Pep's Balloon, Pep's like dog on a stick. So, I figured we'll just play through them and see what they're all about. We'll start with uh, Freddy Fish and Luther's Ma Maze and Madness, I guess, first. I'm not really sure which one, you know, comes in which order, it doesn't really matter, both from the same year. Let's jump into this one. Luther, what's up? Grandma Grouper told me to stop by any time for some chocolate-covered worm doodles, and so I'm stopping by. But she's not here right now, Luther. And besides, you know you're not supposed to eat them before lunch. It'll ruin your appetite. Well, it won't ruin my appetite. You just go lucky. Luther! No, Luther, not in there! That's where Grandma keeps her kelp seed treasure. I wouldn't open that if I were you. Whee-hee! Uh-oh. Sorry, Freddy. Luther, we better go get back all of Grandma Grouper's kelp seeds and fast. Okay, Freddy. Full speed ahead! Alright, let's see what the Maze of Madness is all about. So... This very much like it reminds me of like the Puff Puck games and stuff like that. So you have custom levels, you have like, you know, the new the game itself. And if I want to basically can like, you know. Change the colors like this. There's a dash you need it, but other than that, whatever. So we got like, you know, ups and downs for the levels here. Jumpin' jellyfish, let's get all those kelp seeds! Alright, I wonder if this is like Patman or not. Interesting. Can I pick up this stuff too? And we'll collect this for like the last point. We better get swimming and collect all those kelp seeds! So, this strikes me as a very, like, simplistic game. And it looks like the controls could be a little bit better. What does this do? Apparently, sea arches are like our keys in this game. We 
better get swimming and collect all those kelp seeds. Can't go that way. Will I ever slow down, I wonder? Jumpin' jellyfish, let's get all those kelp seeds! I think we got an enemy in this map. It looks like I did slow down eventually, but you know, it took a while. That guy just seems to go back and forth. As fast as I can. We better get swimming and collect all those kelp seeds. Looks like I got a different zone here. Missing here. Here. Yep. All right. Interesting. Got portals. Unfortunately, I'm gonna get those because, like you know. I went for the pearl there. Look so let's try it again. Those are the things you play at the bottom there when I just like, you know, go to replace stuff. I guess you can't, like, you know, change the score after like, you go through it one, one time. Nope, I slowed down. I have to say, I don't feel like the controls for this game. But whatever. Is that a hurry up clock, I wonder? I think the dynamite may, may have blown up there. It might be that, like, you know, if you take too long, certain things will get, like, not be, like, available to you. We better get swimming and collect all those kelp seeds! I see some turtles there. <laughs> I 
Mr. Trolls doesn't seem to care about me. Oh, he makes you run away faster, maybe? Oh, there's an exit! Interesting. Well, it's neat. Basically, I have like some interesting mechanics for this game, regardless of the fact it's got very, very like, bad controls. Basically, the controls leave something, something to desire in this game, but you know, it's working well enough. Yeah, this guy's making me move slower. No, so he speeds you up if you go the other way. So he down goes he, like toward him. Is this a pure wonder? Maybe. Let's collect it. Like that diamond over there is like ticking down. Whatever, it's gonna explode if I like take too long. Angler fish to watch out for. We'll avoid him and just take everything around him. Actually comes in if you actually open up the gate for him. There's a you puffer fish. And collect all those kelp seeds. Is it dangerous? I don't know. Probably it's actually like a roadblock, maybe, but who knows? Oh, it goes in different directions. The puffer fish. Disc, disc, disc. Oops. I guess we skipped the, uh, you know, thing up there. Jumpin' jellyfish, let's get all those kelp seeds! I see a zone entrance over there for something. Probably to, you know... We need to basically get through here, so we have to go in there. It's basically just like, you know, whack-a-mole. Thank <laughs> you. 
We're going slow. I don't know how long this lasts, but you know. They're worth different points, by the way. Go here. All right, well, as uh, you know, level ten. I guess you need starfishes for this one. For most part, it's like a fairly simple game. It's good for kids. I just really hate the controls. Look at all those kelp seeds. The exit. Blowing <laughs> down. This is one way over here. Look at this. Jumpin' jellyfish, let's get all those kelp seeds! I see a treasure chest. Safety bubble? Uh, I think it's screwed up, by the way. Or not. Let's get going! I screwed myself out of points, that's all I did there, I guess. I go this way.
I guess we hit that guy, I'm not really sure. A snail shell for um, this next lock. Oh, we gotta go through here again. Well, it's a fun little diversion, I guess, for kids, but nothing I think is like spectacular or anything. Look at all those kelp seeds! I'll try and complete this stuff levels and let's move on. Can't go this way. Can't go that way. There's an X in this one, I guess, so that's fine. It starts off simple this game, but you know, it does get higher, I guess, as it goes along. Leave this guy alone, move on. Grab this. Grab this. Finish her off. New level you type. get swimming and collect all those kelp seeds. I see crabs. They probably move back and forth, like the anglers. Oh, they do move up and down. So I guess they're kind of like the pufferfish in that they're random. But they like move really slow going up and down. I'm kind of stuck here. I need to move out of the way. Interesting these like go up and down. I think the crowds might be chasing me. Just a little bit.
Yeah, that's the feeling I get. The crabs are chasing me. Maybe. There's the exit. Crap, he's going this way. There we go, I got out. There's a bag there or something. I get the feeling about like the level resets if you basically like, you know, leave it, so... That's probably a way of like, you know, games guys basically go where you want to, but like, you, you don't like where they are, reset them. This guy is like in the worst possible place. But he's out of the way finally. Let's collect what we can here. Very nice, don't care. Where's the X I need to go for? Up there, apparently. Okay, that's fine. Let's get over here. I need to get something for this here. Oh, so that's a death for me. I have five peanut butter and jellyfish sandwiches left. All right, so that's basically very much based on the first game where like you gave the like peanut butter, and, you know, jam fish to you know make the like guy not want to eat you. I wonder if I already have this, like, you know, key right here. Yes, the crowds are definitely coming for me. I like what I need to get through here, apparently, so... That begs the question where I need to go.
you know, this is like really like, you know, is like sort of a pac band type of clone, but it's like, you know, given it's like only sort of aesthetic. But at the same time, it's like very, um, it could be better with controls. Yeah, it's, it's caught there. I still have four peanut butter and jellyfish sandwiches. Oh, I have to go down here. I'll wait here. Crab wants to get me. They are definitely smart to basically come after you, the crabs, but you know. Not too smart. Go this way. Stay here a bit. Please after me here a little bit. Come on, let me through. Alright, we're out. One more. It knows I'm here, I guess. We'll just outpace it. Alright, well, that seems like a good showing of what, like, you know, Maze Madness, Madness is basically all about. Wow! I'm guessing custom levels are just like, you know, whatever. Yeah, you can basically like, you know, make your stuff here, you got like your enemies, got like, you know, angler fishes, puffer fishes, sharks. Where you're put your Freddy basically to start. You have up, up to 10 level, like, levels here if you want. Different backgrounds. Do you really want to reset this level? You know, it might be like you only have like the, the crabs basically in like the um... The actual like new, um, actual game, but whatever. Alright, so that's basically like Freddy and Fish and Luffy's Maze Madness. You know, it's an interesting like little clone there. 
I didn't really think much of, like the um the controls, but other than that, it is it is a fine concept for like a little like you know diversion for kids. Hope you guys basically enjoyed that and take care.